The following comedy includes discussions of suicide and suicidal ideation, trauma related to healthcare system failures, and opioid addiction. Folks who find these topics triggering may wish to mute their devices. Smith and Vaughn Whatever present Ideal Suicide. In Ideal Suicide, Smith plays the doctor, wearing huge round tortoiseshell glasses, a white lab coat, and a cobalt blue stethoscope with blonde blunt bangs and a tight ponytail. The doctor sits in front of a striking red wall. Vaughn Whatever plays the patient, wearing smudged black eyeliner with shiny brown wavy hair peeking out from under a big gray hoodie. The patient sits in a crowded art studio, the background filled with paintings, desks, plants, boxes, and piles of paper. So, last week, you were starting to talk to me about the additional challenges to your mental health posed by the pandemic. Can we revisit that now? Can you name some feelings? I'm angry. I know this pandemic has meant giving things up, but no one said I'd have to give up my hanging room. Your what? My suicide room, my hanging room. My partner needed it to work from home. Partner has taken suicide space for home office. It's the best room in the house for it. Soundproof, door closes, locks, it's private, and just the right amount of sunshine. Sounds ideal. Which? Home office, but I guess both. Well, I can't exactly hang myself while he's Zooming with his boss or clients, can I? He's thrown a wrench into my suicidal ideation. Have you made alternative plans then? After doing some more research, I'm leaning towards overdose. That five to seven minutes of dangling after you hung yourself really is dissuading me. I've rethought my ideal suicide and the answer seems to be is to go online you go onto the dark web you find a source of nembutal which might be easy but it's but in our last session you talked a lot about how much you hate the internet i do yet you're using it because I have to. You need to convert currency to Bitcoin, make the proper electronic payments, and then you have to wait for the drugs to arrive, usually from India. You just can't go to a Mexican veterinary supply store anymore. So you've been challenging yourself by using the internet, learning technology, trying new things, and could we possibly say meeting new people while you're doing it? I suppose so. Mm, that could be considered progress. Now, you've scored the Nebutal, fussed with the Bitcoins, and ordered it. Now what? You wait. With this pandemic, everything's on back order. <sighs> the pandemic tasks all of us with learning and exercising that little bit of patience, doesn't it? I know. I just ordered jet skis online, and they might not be here in time for summer. It's an excellent way for us to work through some of our innate needs for immediacy. I'm still waiting for my caveat ex walnut exfoliant to arrive. I feel like looking good is part of feeling good and, well, it's basically a work expense. <clears throat> anyway, back to you and your suicide fantasies. Let's imagine, if you will, that the dark web fairies and your newfound internet friends have filled your order of Nebutal, it's arrived. What happens next? I get in my vehicle, I fill the gas tank and drive, probably northwest, until I get to a remote place. I pull my car off the highway, like up a logging road or something, and I walk into the bush as far as I can. I take the Nebutal and then I just keep walking. And eventually I'm gonna pass out, I'll collapse, I, my breathing stops, my heart stops beating, and then I'll be torn apart by animals and eaten by worms. Kicks off quietly, eaten by worms, eco-conscious. Oh, I know you always say how selfish you are, but look at you, 
thinking of the planets. So you're getting out of your comfort zone while you're still focusing a little on the negative. Would you use a GPS to get out there? What? I just wondered if you would be taking your GPS, your global positioning satellite. I know now. what it is. Well, just wondered if you'd be taking it with you. Why is that relevant? You wouldn't be needing it anymore. No one uses GPS anymore. Hmm, I just bought a cottage. You see, the one thing about this pandemic is that the real estate market is just stellar. I'd use my phone. Right. What kind of phone is it? It's an iPhone 10. Why? Hmm. Well, you wouldn't be needing that either, would you? 